Whoa, she hits that. And that's gonna be out of here. Pitcher to pitcher, home run. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Backyard Baseball 2003 season playthrough with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. And we are in game three now. We are now 2 0. Oh. We had a great start to the season, blowing out our first two opponents, the Melonheads and the Orioles. And they are both division opponents, so that is a very good start for us. In today's episode, we are playing the Toronto Blue Jays. As you can see, this is yet another road game. This is our third road game in a row. And after this, we have three home games, so that'll be a good home stretch. We're playing at Playground Commons today. Everybody's playing perfectly well today. No stat reductions or anything like that besides Amir, who's having his normal uh, hitting bonus, running bonus, fielding bonus, and pitching reduction uh, because he's on the same team as his brother, Ahmed Khan. If you look at their roster, they have Sean Green, who weirdly plays for the Blue Jays whenever you play in the season. He's a pro player in this game who plays for the Dodgers. He played for the Dodgers at the time. For some reason, though, he always shows up on the Blue Jays when you play in the season. But aside from him, Kimmy Ekman, and Sally Dobbs, everyone else is an AI-created player. So let's hop right into this game. Ichiro has the second lowest batting average on our team currently, but batting 400 is still pretty good. This is a high fly ball. We've been doing pretty well with bad catchers lately. And she drops that one, so Ichiro reaches on an air, which has been a pretty consistent theme for us so far, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Up next, we have Pete Wheeler, who's been hitting very well this season. He's uh, he's uh, got 700 batting average. Let's you continue that. That's going to be a deep fly ball over to Sean Green. Look how high up in the air that one went. He's going to catch a one, and Ichiro went off a little too far, but thankfully... He's got so much speed that he got back to first base safe. Next, we have Nomar garcia Parra, who is no stranger to getting hits off errors so far this season. And Nomar goes down on strikes. That was a really good curveball that went so far out. I thought that was going to be low. Good pitch from Betty Houston right there. Amir has the worst batting average on the team as of now. He did not have a good game. Only one for five. Let's see if he can do better this time. Each row is going to be safe. And Amir is going to reach. They do not get to the ball in time. A good infield hit from Amir Khan. And that brings us to Keisha Phillips, who's having an excellent season. She's right up there with Pete Wheeler for team MVP, in my opinion. That's going to be the strike zone, but that's going to be hit right to Betty. And uh, that's, a, that's the end of a quick inning right there. Isabel Morelli, the catcher who had that error uh, to get Ichiro on base, is first hitter. She swings way too early there. Randy Johnson did not have a great game. Uh, he, did, he only allowed three hits, which is pretty good. That's a season low and only one run, but uh, he didn't have that many strikeouts, at least not as many as the first game. So hopefully we can get him more strikeouts here today. Let's try a left hook high and inside. That's going to be a strikeout. Great start for Randy Johnson. That was a great pitch. All right, fastball high and inside. Let's see if he goes for this one. And that's going to be a strike three right there. Randy Johnson, two batters up, two down. Great start for him. Right, we now have the fireball in our pocket. That's a great power up pitch to have right there. We are going to throw in the fireball. Randy says yes. Let's see if we can get this done right here. Three up and three down. Let's go. Three up, three down, three strikeouts for Randy Johnson. He's been hitting very well so far. If you watched the last episode, he absolutely cranked one, uh, which was insane. First time I've ever hit an outside the park home run with him. That was a great hit. And she strikes him out. Not as good of a start for Randy Johnson with the bat today, but hey, he's a pitcher. What can you expect? And Vakmed Khan, who's also been hitting very well so far. He's uh, get it, got a hit on two-thirds of his at-bats so far this year. That was a very generous strike right there. That was an impressive pitch. And that is another striker from Betty Houston. We seem to be in a pitching battle right now. Uh, both, both pitchers are off to a great start. And he makes contact. Let's see if he can finally get on base. And he does, thanks to that speed. And we have a power-up coming our way. That is very good, very clutch from Pablo. Let's finally break this stalemate. Come on, Ken Griffey Jr. He had a great home run in his last game. He makes contact right down the right field line. Sean Green's going to be chasing that. Let's send Pablo over to third. Good throw in. Pablo's going to make it safely to third, but good hit from Ken Griffey Jr. Now with Ichiro up, we have a batter in scoring position, and we still have screaming line drive. Let's go. Screaming line drive over the head of their second baseman out to center field. Ken Griffey Jr. is going to make it to second base, and Pablo scores the first run of the game with an RBI for Ichiro. And he hits the grounder, and that is going to be an out. All right, so we end that inning 
pretty quickly, but thankfully we get one on board and we now have a lead in this game. Here comes Sally Dobbs, who has yet to have a hit this season. Hopefully we can keep it that way, as Randy Johnson has more juice now, which of course is the most broken power up in the game. Nomar completely misses that, and Sally Dobbs is going to get her first hit of the season. Not exactly the best play from our starting shortstop, who I drafted because I think he's the best shortstop in the game. That was not a good play whatsoever. Horrible awareness. Let's see if hopefully we can uh, either strike out Sean Green or maybe turn it into a double play. And he's going to make contact. Off, off Randy Johnson's glove. Oh, but he's going to reach base, and they are going to have a power-up coming soon. A little too late for the double play, and this is not good right here. And now we got Kimmy Ekman up. She's got an open stance. Let's pitch away from her. That is not how I wanted to go. That is a screaming line drive. Great hit from Kimmy Ekman. Send it into Nomar. Over to third. Sean Green is going to be out. That's going to be hit right there, but we can just toss it over to Amir Khan really quick. Easy out. Thankfully, we get out of that inning despite allowing three hits. That's going to be a high fly ball. Can their third baseman get it? Yes, he does. Nomar is now 0 for 2 on the day. Look at that from Amir. That could reach the fence. Great power from Amir, who was having a down day yesterday. Uh, I believe their center fielder has a pretty good arm. Yeah, she does. So Amir's going to hold at first base. And that's a line drive past the shortstop. Amir should reach. Oh, he is not safe. Should have slid there, probably. Randy Johnson strikes out to end the inning, and we leave empty-handed. We are still up just one to nothing. So far, Blue Jays are playing pretty well. They're playing us close. Best opponent we've had so far. Whoa, she hits that. And that's going to be out of here. Pitcher to pitcher home run. And uh, I wanted it to go outside, but that turned into a free flight to Hawaii over there. And that's not what you want. You do not want to allow the opposing team's pitcher to hit a home run off you. And that is now Randy Johnson's second home run allowed in two games. And that's going to be a strikeout. Nice recovery from Randy Johnson. Let's get these next two outs pretty quick. Might have to start using these power-ups pretty soon to get out of this. That's going to be a grounder. Keisha's going to ch chase after it. Look, she's out she's outrunning the batter. She's got so much speed, man. And she is going to hit that. So no strikeout for Randy Johnson. That sucks, but easy out. And uh, it's a tie ball game now. Thankfully, we are now in the power section of our batting lineup. Let's get some runs. We really need them here. Blue Jays are playing us close so far. We need runs. That's going to be a fly ball. And their second baseman's going to catch that. Too easy. Ah, oh, that's going to be... A, it's really, really hard to tell which pitches for Pablo are going to be balls and strikes because his strike zone is right above the plate. Way lower than it is for everyone else. Should not have swung at that. I don't know what I'm doing. I definitely get nervous with Pablo because, I mean, you expect to hit crazy amounts of home runs with him. Uh, and so if you don't, you feel pretty nervous and you feel like, you know, you, sh you should be hitting better with him. And, jeez, I don't know what I'm doing with Pablo. I don't know what I'm doing. This is not good, though. Two outs already. Oh, I was going to crush that with Ken Griffey Jr., but he hits that right to Sally Dobbs, and she stops. I don't know what she's doing, but Ken Griffey Jr. gets his second single of the day. We need solid hits to the outfield now. Uh, we can't be having any more grounders. That's going to be a grounder, and this is not looking good for Ken Griffey Jr. Although there's some miscommunication, and despite that, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. does not get on base. We are still in the deadlock here. I don't know if that's a ball. I think they've uh, they've called the CPU uh, a strike on that same pitch before. I've seen that. Ah, oh, again, a, a two-strike swing. And Pete's throw is going to get there right on time. Thankfully, it would suck if he had gotten on base there. We gave up uh, Sally Dobbs' first hit of the season to her. Hopefully we don't allow her, allow her to get on base again. Definitely throwing outside of the strike zone more than I would like with Randy Johnson. One thing that I will say on harder difficulty is that it is insanely hard to bait the CPU into swinging outside pitches. Uh, it basically does not exist. You have to throw it within the strike zone. Ooh, that's going to be close. But she swings for it, and that is going to be Randy Johnson's fifth strikeout. Good stuff from Randy Johnson. Let's keep this going. We need to get Randy off the mound. We need to get batters on base. That's a little too far in. 
And come on, Ichiro. Ichiro fumbles it. And he is just standing there. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, and Sean Green is going to be safe at second base. We do not want Sean Green to score. He is in scoring position. She is not going to swing at that. That froze her. Six strike us now for Randy Johnson. Hopefully we can finally add some more runs here. They are playing us much closer uh, than any other team has played us so far. We have more errors than they do. And Pete Wheeler is not hitting well today. And that probably shows just how well the Blue Jays are playing against us right here. Let's go, Pete. Oh, that one might be out. Let's go. Let's go. That is Pete's second home run of the season, I believe. Great hit right there. That might be the boost we need. That's going to be a fly ball out to center field. She's probably going to catch this. Dang it. Good hit from Amir Khan. But this is the last guy I want to see up to bat when we are uh, at two outs with only one man on base, not in scoring position. And that is precisely why. So we expand our lead. That is good, but we're not in the clear by any means. Oh, that is a great hit. Pablo drops it. That is going to be a base hit. That is the last thing you want. You do not want to give up hits off errors. And sadly, we are falling into that trap today. Betty Houston hit a home run. Uh, she's been pitching well, and she's been hitting well, too. We still have a screaming line drive. Let's see if Ken can throw him out. That throw is not in time. Actually, it is. But that throw is over Amir's head. What is Nomar doing? He has not been playing well. That was a great chance for a double play. That is another deep hit. Oh, not, not that deep, actually, but it gets past Nomar and Amir Khan. Ken Griffey Jr. falls on it. And despite being totally gassed, uh, their pitcher gets on base. This is not good so far. We are at very great risk of blowing this lead here. We need Randy Johnson to get us out of this. We are not fielding well. We have not been hitting well today at all. That's going to be a hit. Catch from Ahmed. Their pitcher goes home. And Pete is going to run her down. That's going to be a double play. And now we have a power up uh, heading into the sixth inning with a lead. We've allowed eight hits. This is not good. This has not been a good defensive day at all. But thankfully, we're up to bat. And we really need to build this lead before the bottom of the sixth. All right, we have an undergrounder. We can really exploit this here. Amir hits an underground. That's going to come near Sean Green, but I do not want to test him. He's got a pretty decent arm, although he makes two horrible throws right there. Jeez, maybe I should have gone for a second, huh? But Ahmed is just not very fast. We can't afford uh, to risk getting thrown out there. That underground was a one-time use, unfortunately, so Pablo, we really need something good for me here. Betty Houston is at 72 pitches, though, so she is going for the complete game, it seems. That's going to be a walk. First walk of the day. Uh, I, I assume they're going to be pulling her soon because she's got a very high pitch count. And Ken Griffey Jr. is up. He is 2 for 2 today. Has a chance to send Aukman and Pablo home. We really need this here. Great pitching from her. I was swinging all over the place. Those are well-placed pitches. This is not good, man. Full count. Let's see if she walks each row. If she walks two batters in a row, she's probably going to get pulled. That could be outside. And that's going to be our second walk. The bases are now loaded with one out. All right, Pete Wheeler has one home run today. If he could give us another one, that would be amazing. And they finally pull her. They really want this third strike. Now Sally Dobbs is on the mound. Swing that bat already. And Pete Wheeler hits a fly ball out to right field. That is going to score Ahmed. Potentially Amir. I mean, potentially Pablo, excuse me. Each row is going to go to third. We're going to bring Ichiro home as well. This could be a three RBI double for Pete Wheeler. We're going to send him to third as well. That's going to be a triple for Pete Wheeler. Super clutch, three RBIs. That is exactly what we needed. And like I said, Pete is looking like he's the team MVP right now. Even if he gets out, if we can send... Yes, great hit. 
out between left field and center field. Nomar Garcia Parra sends Pete Wheeler home. We're going to hold him at first. That is exactly what we needed. That is so clutch. And just like that, we are up 6-1. to one. This is what baseball is, man. How quickly things can change. Let's see if we can keep this momentum going. Pete Amir Khan is going to hit it out to center field. She'll probably get that. She drops it. Ah, uh, but uh, Nomar is going to be out. Amir is going to hold it first, so... Amir gets on, but unfortunately we did not advance any runners. This final inning, this could be it. What a hit from Keisha. That's out to Kimi Ekman, though. She's going to catch that, and that ends the inning. But that it was as good of an inning as we've had in this game. Four runs. Uh, man, hopefully, hopefully we can hold because our defense has not been playing well at all today. That's going to be a bunt. Odd situation to bunt. Randy Johnson picks that up. Easy out. Don't know what she's doing with nobody on base trying to bunt. And he makes contact. Amir Khan is going to get... <laughs> I keep getting them confused. Ahmed catches that. And just like that, it is two outs. Uh, and Sally Dobbs is the last hope for the Blue Jays in this otherwise very close game. And surprisingly, Randy Johnson wants the elevator. He usually does not go for the power-ups over the normal pitches. That's going to be a strike, though. She's going to swing at that one, and now we're going to try and use an elevator to finish this game off. Perhaps pad Randy Johnson's stats a little bit more in what has otherwise been not a good game. I know I'm repeating myself. That's going to be a strikeout. Game over. We escape with a 6-1 to one victory. 6-1 to one looks better in the scoreboard. Pardon me, in the statistics than this game really was. This was a very close game. The Blue Jays are not a bad team whatsoever. And we got to play them a few more times throughout this year, I think. So just like that, we are now 3-0 on the season. We uh, make it through our first uh, road trip undefeated. And uh, as you can see here, we are playing the same three teams in a row at home. So basically, I think all of our divisional games, the way it's set up, I don't know why it's set up this way in Backyard Baseball 2003, but you basically play all of your division games first. We've got home games coming up. I prefer home games over road games. And we've beaten uh, two out of these three teams in our division pretty handedly so far. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's check out statistics really quick. As far as this game was concerned, obviously Randy Johnson did not hit very well. I was expecting that. I think his game against the Orioles was quite the anomaly. Uh, we're not going to expect our, our pitcher to hit home runs in every single game. Uh, best hitting performance definitely goes to Amir Khan, who did not play well in the last game against the Orioles. He was 3 for 4 today. Pete Wheeler uh, definitely had the MVP performance. He had 4 RBIs, including a home run and a triple that really sealed the deal for this uh, for the game. And then Nomar Garcia Parra had the final hit that extended our lead to 6-1. to one. Definitely valuable. Pitching, Randy Johnson had 7 strikeouts on 66 pitches. Only gave up 1 run, uh, but did give up 8 hits. This is definitely our worst defensive day. Uh, for sure in this season thus far also had three errors that is not what you want and like I said even though the scoreboard shows that we won by five runs we really escaped that one as for the season stats now uh, I, th I would say our batting average has definitely collapsed after that game but still everybody is pretty much batting above 400 which again that's pretty ama amazing for a baseball team Pete Wheeler and Ken Griffey Jr. are now tied for our team leaders in home runs with two apiece although Pete is now definitely leading the pack in RBIs with 10 so far in the season Randy Johnson now has 18 strikeouts through three games with an ERA of just 0.75 which is pretty good so we're not allowing a lot of runs but again the Blue Jays really gave us a scare in that last game we have a lot to improve on for sure despite the fact that we are undefeated I uh, hope to see you guys again in the next episode I hope you're enjoying this series so far I'll see you on the next episode <laughs>